Hey, welcome back to Good Morning Bill. We're live with uh, Brandy Bradshaw Robinson with Premium Port Wine. And you live in Colorado, so you had a short drive. I did have a short drive. And you come up to the mountains a bunch, right? This is, I do. This is kind of like your second home. Every weekend we try to be up here because it's so beautiful. I mean, you can't beat this weather, and it's just gorgeous. Isn't it nice yeah. just, to, just to get out of the city and be yeah. a part of um, these events? You've been a part of Winter Culinary Weekend before with Beaver Creek uh -huh. and with Port Wine. Uh, but this is your first time with this big summer event. Well, how, how's it, it going? Is. What's happening with you and, and Port oh, Wine? Tell us about it. We're having so much fun. So we'll be at the Grand Tasting today. Okay. And these are the wines that I'm going to have at the Grand Tasting. And then we're also doing the 4x4 Jeep Tour tomorrow, where it's port and cheese that are paired together. So wait, wait, let's rewind this. So <laughs> this is Beaver Creek, perfect right. Beaver Creek. A Jeep tour. You're going to go ride a Jeep somewhere and yeah. go explore the wildflowers, take some photos. And then instead of just coming back down and being done, you get to sit somewhere, uh, probably on a beautiful deck somewhere, and drink. Drink and port eat. with cheese, yeah. So there are going to be three <laughs> different stops, and the, the guests will go from spot to spot tasting different ports with the cheeses. And um, it, it's, sadly, it is sold out. So anyone who didn't get to take advantage early, Next year. That's right. And then the Grand <laughs> Tasting is also sold out. It is? These events, honestly, oh, wow. this, these, the winter ones don't sell out as quickly, but the summer, the Wine and Spirits Festival does sell out really uh -huh. fast. Well, I mean, I will say that to be able to interact with people from the wineries as intimately as you can here, so many other tastings that people go to, like you have to stand in line and you're waiting to get to talk to the, the producer, and that can be a real bummer. But here, it's like you really get to interact with people, and it's it's nice. It's really nice. It breaks down that, <clears throat> that small barrier. What do you have? What do you want to showcase here today that are going to be part of the Grand Tasting. So premium port wines, we're basically the importers for Symington Family Estates. And Symington Family Estates, it's basically five cousins that go back five generations in the Douro Valley of Portugal. Okay. And so they have um, made their home there. And we have quintas that are throughout the Douro Valley. And the Douro Valley is about two hours a train ride from Oporto. So all of that is in the, the northern part okay. of Portugal. Okay. And that's where all of these wines are coming from. This first First one right here, this is going to be a dry wine. So it's not a port, it's not sweeter, it is made to be a table wine. And this particular wine is um, under a label called Pratt's in Symington. So it's the Symington family estates with Bruno Pratt's from Chateau Codestrinel in Bordeaux. Okay. So it's kind of like Bordeaux meets the Douro Valley. They're indigenous varietals to Portugal that a lot of people aren't familiar with. The, the varietals that are uh, composed in this wine are basically Tariga Nacional, which is similar to Cabernet, and so um, also the Tariga Franca, which is similar okay. to Merlot. So Bordeaux blend in style. Okay. So if people like a California red blend, this would be something great for them to try. So yeah, I'll have that at the tasting today too. And this one, next one says it's a, possibly a port. What do we have there in the middle? It is absolutely a port. So basically whenever you're thinking about ports, there are two different styles. You've got a ruby style. That's what the Dow's late bottle vintage is. And then you've got a tawny. And they all start out the same way. They're fortified with brandy during the, the fermentation process. So as you have this process, of the sugar turning into alcohol. They'll add brandy to it to stop the fermentation. The sugar remains high, but the alcohol is higher because of the, the brandy, the spirits that's added. Okay. This one has about four to six years in oak, and with that short time in oak, it retains a lot of the freshness. So you get like plum, um, you get like raspberry, more cocoa, where something like a 20-year tawny, this is a blended tawny, and so you get more aged characteristics like caramel, pecan. Okay. Yeah. 20 years. Yes, 20 years. Five to six? Yeah, four to six here. Wow. And so there are different styles of rubies. Late bottle vintage is one of them. And what that refers to is um, with vintage ports, which are different from this, it's two years in oak. And then it's bottled with its sed sediment, and it's intended to bottle age. This one, with the extended time in oak, it's ready to drink right away. And so you can enjoy the, this today. And this is coming from the 2011 harvest, which the Dow's 2011 vintage was number one on the Wine Spectator you are just Top 100. Loaded with information. Well, you know. Golly, <laughs> that's impressive. That is impressive. I wish 
that some of these activities were still available so people could I come know. and actually communicate with you. But uh, are they available? Can you find these in you can. locally? Restaurants. I, I okay. believe that the Chop House has the Graham's 20-year tawny. Okay. Right. Um, you know, Market Wine, I believe, has the Dow's Late Bottle Vintage and a smaller bottle of the 20-year tawny, which is nice because it makes it a little bit more accessible price-wise. Love it. Brandy, thanks for your time. Thank you. Enjoy summer, this event right here. Enjoy more time in the mountains. Uh, we'll be right back. We have a look at that weather forecast, and I'm going to pack up the car, Liam and I. We're going to head to Minturn, to the Minturn Market.